for seeing those mainly clear skies to kick start your Tuesday morning. And with that, we're also on the chillier side, but we do have a bit of a breeze coming in mainly out of the west northwest. And with that, those temperatures are starting off into the 20s and low to mid 30s. Again, these are some of the colder spots of the map from Manassas to Culpeper to Orange and Fredericksburg. But we're upper 40s, though, in D.C., right around the freezing mark Waldorf. We're lower 40s. So you head off towards the north Hagerstown and Frederick coming into the low 40s. We're seeing that breeze mainly out of the west northwest, 3 to 10 miles per hour for much of the region. We'll eventually notice that breeze picking up by midday today, likely seeing some of those sustained winds upwards of 15 miles per hour. Could see a few gusts right around 20. But aside from that, really a nice fall day out there, especially for mid-November standards. We'll see high temperatures into the mid-upper 50s to low 60s later on today, which is nearly seasonable for this time of the year, especially for D.C. D.C. around this time of the year, 59 is a typical high. We'll be just shy of that later on this afternoon, right around 60 as you head farther south, mid-upper 50s farther north. Now, overnight tonight, the winds will peel back, so the winds will be light and variable across the region, and not only that, we'll see the clear skies, so that will allow those temperatures to drop. We're talking about those overnight lows <laughs> going to be dropping back in the upper 20s to low to mid 30s, so this is likely what we're starting off with tomorrow morning. So I'd like to have the brace for this for tomorrow morning before we bounce back in the upper 50s, right about 60, likely seeing that high of 60 degrees out there in D.C. tomorrow afternoon. We'll see mainly the partly sun-filled skies Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, though, we'll notice increasing cloud cover ahead of that cold front off towards our north and west. We also have a system down to the south, which will likely ride right along the eastern seaboard and move into southern New England, but that could clip us with a few of those rain showers out ahead of that cold front. But notice how much of that rainfall holds off till at least later on Friday. So it looks like now the bulk of our Friday looks mainly dry. It's after sunset when we could see a bit more of that precipitation moving in, but we certainly do need the rain. We'll take it, but it looks like Friday will be the only day out of that seven day that we actually see that rain moving its way through. In terms of the forecast versus the average high temperatures, we'll finally be above average towards the latter half of the work week. So we do see that warm up ahead of that cold front on Friday, back in the upper 60s on Friday. Then we fall back just below the average for this time of the year on Saturday. Sunday will be a few degrees below that, and that continues into early Monday, or I should say into the early part of the next work week for Monday. High temperatures, low 50. So again, the average high is typically 59 degrees. So we'll be nearly 10 degrees above that on Friday. Then we fall back to nearly seasonable high temperatures Saturday, Sunday as well. But at least Saturday and Sunday, we're tracking drier conditions after Friday's chances for some rain later on in the day. Low 50 to start off that next work week. Monday, partly cloudy, but it looks like in that extended forecast next Tuesday, we could be seeing a few rain showers later on in the day as well. But I'll have more details with that eight day forecast coming up in the next hour. But Shanika is here with the all important look at those roadways as we're getting.